This is Dr. Daniel Murtaugh with the first in a series of educational videos on erectile dysfunction. This presentation is an overview of erectile dysfunction, including its prevalence, its causes, and the treatment options. We hope this will be informative and lead you to watch some of my other videos which will be a more detailed discussion about treatment options. Erectile dysfunction is the inability to maintain an erection firm enough to have sexual intercourse. This includes difficulty obtaining an erection and or maintaining an erection. One in 10 men has some problem with erectile dysfunction. This means over 30 million American men have a difficult time with the issue. As you would expect, the incidence of erectile dysfunction goes up with age. 90% of the causes are physical, 10% are psychological. In many men, they experience both. The natural aging process contributes to this problem. As men age, they experience a male menopause. This usually starts after the age of 50 and causes a decrease in libido. Atherosclerosis, or hardening of the arteries, causes a decrease in blood flow through the male penis. Performance anxiety is the most common cause of psychological erectile dysfunction. There are many disease states that can contribute to this problem on top of the natural aging process. These include diabetes, heart disease, pelvic surgery, medications, spinal injuries, hormonal imbalance, Despite the multiple causes of erectile dysfunction, you do not have to live with it. Nearly every man can be successfully treated. So don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. As you can see, there are many treatment options available. The first line of therapy is the use of oral medications, including Viagra, Levitra, and Cialis. If these fails, Injection therapy or urethral suppositories can be tried. A vacuum erection device is also available. The penile implant, which is considered the gold standard of treatment, is usually reserved if other treatments fail. Oral medications are the easiest to take and the most convenient. The vacuum erection device draws blood into the penis with a vacuum and traps it in the penis with a band. Injection therapy involves injecting a potent vasodilator into the penis allowing the blood vessels to dilate. A similar vasodilator can be found in the urethral suppositories. These suppositories are inserted in the end of the penis and are absorbed. They are usually preferable to the injections. The penile implant is considered the gold standard of treatment. It is ideal for men who have tried other treatment options without success. As you can see, it's been available for the longest time of any of the treatment options. Over 25,000 implants are done per year. This treatment option has the highest patient satisfaction and partner satisfaction rates. In summary, erectile dysfunction is a common problem. Nearly every man can be successfully treated. Several treatment options are available. So I would encourage you to talk to your primary care doctor or your urologist for more information. I hope you found this educational video helpful and informative.